Yeah, Bonneville County gave a tour of its new fairgrounds this afternoon. KPVI News that works for you journalist Zane Hope and saw the new facility and tells us how the big upgrade will have an immediate impact. We were having to limit the number of entries that were able to come. We had no trailer parking and um, so this will open the door for many more youth to participate. Youth events at the Bonneville County Fairgrounds will no longer be restricted by size. Bonneville County and Melaleuca unveiled the new fairgrounds that were finished just in time for the fair this year. We squeezed about a four-year building project into two years, and um, it was a challenge. The new 50-acre fairgrounds are 10 times the size of the old location. And with two new buildings, the county gets 20,000 extra square feet of event space. One of those new buildings is the Melaleuca Event Center, made possible by a $275,000 donation to be the center for livestock activities, 4-H club events, and many other youth events that CEO Frank Vandersloot says are some of the main reasons behind the donation. Learn responsibility, learn character, and learn uh, how, to, how to train an animal, take a 1,000-pound steer and tame him from being wild down to where they're gentle and tame. And all of that is, is, is a learning program for kids that's unbelievable, you just can't learn it from an iPad. Gym clubs, um, dog clubs, archery clubs, um, gun clubs, all of them have been interested because we don't have enough event space, particularly event space such as this. The first event held at the new fairgrounds will be the 4-H auction on Thursday, August 8th. To give the community a new look at their facilities and a new look at the impact they will have years to come. The Old County Fairgrounds were purchased by the City of Idaho Falls, which plans to use the land as zoo expansion.